And on a, a, a point of personal privilege, Mr. President, uh, you know as a former governor and a former mayor and a senator now, occasionally things get said about us that are totally untrue. And we always, we never fail to forget those voices in the community who have significant standing, who are willing to risk their reputations to speak out for you. Rabbi Drews spoke out for Joe Biden, too. He spoke out for me at a time that could have stopped me in my tracks from winning the election in 1972. Please allow me this point of personal privilege to tell this brief story. Just days before that election, I was falsely accused of being anti-Semitic in a unfounded charge by a disgruntled former campaign worker. It was, I was 29 years old. Hardly anybody knew me. Those who knew me knew, and my record as a senator has demonstrated, I am far from an anti-Semite. As a matter of fact, I'm accused these days of being the other way by my opponents. But at the time, as a 29-year-old guy from a family with no influence or money running for the United States Senate in the year when George McGovern was being trounced in my state, I was accused in this sort of Pearl Harbor sneak attack the weekend before the Tuesday of being an anti-Semite, and it was printed in our largest paper. Rabbi Drews immediately went into action. On the Sunday prior to the election, Rabbi Drews organized a meeting of Delaware's Jewish community, enlisting the support of a then influential Pennsylvania governor who happened to be Jewish. His name was Milton Schapp. Rabbi Drews spoke out for Joe Biden and supported me against an untrue, unfair accusation. Needless to say, he was effective in setting the record straight, or I wouldn't be standing here today. The mere fact that Rabbi Drews said, I know Joe Biden was good enough for the entire community in my state.